The ongoing rain causing hundreds of trees to fall in the city of Los Angeles, including a couple of big ones this morning in Brentwood. NBC4's Alex Rizzo joins us live from the scene where crews are really putting in the work there. Alex. Yeah. LADWP crews have been working on this rainy day to remove these two eucalyptus trees that fell here in Brentwood. They've made a tremendous amount of progress, but you can't really appreciate how big these trees are from the ground. I want to show you some video from News Chopper 4. These trees are 80 feet tall. That crashed down at Bundy and Saltaire. It took out power for hundreds of neighbors nearby, and that power is still out right now. Amazingly, no one was hurt. When the first tree came crashing down at 6 a.m. It's ginormous. It quickly became the talk of the neighborhood. Immediately our, our street chat posted that this tree has fallen. If you look at the roots, it looks like it's like a hundred year old tree. But there was a second tree that fell seconds later. When and Stephanie Z was in her car when it happened. My car is the little black car right in front of the house right there. Cassie, come. Stephanie is a house sitter nearby, and after the first tree fell, she made a phone call from her Honda telling the homeowner the tree broke their fence. But then number two hit the ground, feet away. Because I felt it before I heard it, and I'm still kind of shaking because it was so intense. Mother Nature is just so intense. When the firemen came, they said that I am blessed and lucky because had tree number one not fallen first and knocked this live power pole down right here, that's what stopped this tree from falling on the car and crushing me to death. These trees are a few of the hundreds that have fallen in Los Angeles during the storm. In Brentwood, crews responded fast. They were here immediately. No LADWP has a lot of work ahead, removing trees and restoring power. Stephanie is just grateful she survived. Thank God. I'm here to tell you the story. <laughs> You're looking live again here at the crews working to clear the street here and take out the power lines. You know, LADWP just told us that they have about 3,000 customers still without power in Brentwood alone due to this ongoing storm. So it is quite the mess that remains behind us here. We'll be keeping an eye on things. But for now, reporting live, I'm Alex Rozier, NBC4 News.